Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is uh, day 25, 25th of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. I just came back from running, I mean, not, I kind of rested a little bit first. Been running about 10k, six miles, very easy, very lazy. Um, just to kind of get my reps up and getting my mileage up. That's basically my update. Uh, and just kind of, you know, actually watching the game. Oh, I was watching the game. What's the score? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not close. So, um, I guess I'm not watching the game. But uh, the Timberlake, the Timberlake? Timberwolves. But um, the Lakers used to play in Minnesota, so maybe Timberlake. But anyway, let's take a look at today's farm. Map 2131, longest boundary earth by concatenating two letter words. Okay, so you have two letters words. You want to concate the longest possible. Each element can. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the basic thing is that, um, yeah, like, for, for these characters, you want to combine uh, the opposite, right? And then the tricky thing is just these ones. Um, and I think that's it, right? I'm trying to think for all the cases, but, um, yeah, so basically, for word in words, we want to just... Or even, we, we could actually just even do this, I think. Put them in a frequency table, right? And then now we put them in a frequency table. Um, we can say f.keys. So for key in this, so if k0 is equal to k1, so that means that if um, it is a, 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 a word that is the same character, then you just, you can extend them however you like, right? So maybe we have a, a, a total is equal to zero. So then in that case, we just want to add by f of k. Uh, f of k is the number of words, so the length is going to be times 2, right? And then else, else, <clears throat> then you want to say f of k. So then now you have two things, the min of, oh, whoops. Uh, so you have k, and then the the, uh, the opposite is going to be like the, uh, is it opposite? The, the complementary pair. Uh, maybe uh, our k for reverse k is you go to k sub 1 plus k sub 0, right? So then now we're going to just min of k and our k, right? So total we want to add that. And of course, each one of these will add 2 to the one side and 2 to the other. I think there are a couple of ways you can dedupe. You just have to be careful about deduping. I think here we just write this, maybe it should be fine. Because then now you only do it for one side, and then when the key goes to the other side, it would um, do the other side. It would do this again, making it times four. So then now you pair them up, and then each of them has four. I think that logic is right, but maybe I'm wrong. It's very easy to mess up on these things, uh, especially when you have this. Oh, what am I doing? It's f of k and f of r k, of course, right? But I think this maybe changes the uh, the innovation. Oh, hmm, it doesn't. Um, oh, I am really wrong. Whoops. So sometimes your intuition is wrong, that's why you test your cases. But yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. That makes sense. Okay. Um, I think this part is right, because you still want to, you have to pair them up. But then now, the, the thing is that I messed this one up, right? Because what I was thinking is that you could keep on adding stuff in the middle, but now that you look at this example 3, it makes no sense. So basically here, we can do the two ways of combining them. One is just um i mean one is just putting it dead in the middle and then the other is just by putting it one on the left one on the right kind of extend it from the inside right and it, um or outside however you want to say it so then we can just also try doing it from the outside right and then if we have leftovers then we just keep one you can only have one leftover anyway so if you have one leftover for over all of them then you should be fine so then maybe we can have something like um, extra is equal to um, zero, right? And then now here, if, <clears throat> okay. So if f of k mod 2 is equal to 1, then extra is equal to 1. That just means that if there's one left over, then we, well, we have to pick one of them. So we'll just put one of them in the middle. Um, and maybe we could set extra, or we can set this as 2 because technically the 2 in the middle, just one word right and then otherwise the pair of words so then this is going to be this divided by two right to kind of make pair on each side 
and then uh, multiply by four um, because now you have say you know let's say you have ten that makes it five pairs five pairs means forty oh uh, sorry twenty characters right four each and that's it you know it looks like you could kind of um, simplify this out keep in mind that this is division or uh, uh, integer division. For example, if you have five here, this is going to um, go down to two. So you want to, that's why this is important. I think now this is good, except we have to add um, total times two. Oh, sorry, extra times two, not total times two. Right? Uh, looks okay. Uh, am I confident? Honestly, a little bit less so than before, but let's YOLO submit. Yep, uh, looks good. And oh, and look at that. Today we have a palindromic uh, 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 streak going. So I don't know. I, Clearly, I did not plan for this, but it is kind of nice. Uh, yeah, that's all I have for this one. This is going to be linear, looks at every word once, and this is just look at all the keys, which at most is look at every word once. So, linear time, linear space, and that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you did. Thanks for watching. And yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.